we're going to be recounting and uh, retracing the pathways of the lung and large intestine meridians. Remembering that this is the uh, yin and yang, the zhang fu of the metal element. A little reminder, always important, the inside of the body often follows the yin channels, all right? When we're working with the yin channels of the upper body, they tend to start from the chest and move down towards the fingertips. The yang channels run on the outside, the back lines of the body, and we count these from the fingertips back up towards, uh, usually to the face, where all of the yang channels and pathways come to meet, all right? So we'll start with the lung channel. So we can trace it or palpate it from the tip of the thumb. Following along this area here, we call the thinner eminence. We come into the crease of the wrist. Remember, it's a yin line. So we want to stay on the inside, on the inseam of the body. We're gonna come up towards the elbow, which is the location of, uh, we'll talk about it if you haven't already heard of our hisi points. We continue up along the inside of the arm. We come over the top, just along the ridge of the collarbone, and it comes to end here at uh, lung one, all right, which is the front midpoint point of the lungs. When we talk about the pairing of the large intestine, we come from the outside of the index finger. It follows this bridge, this pathway along the inside, the web between the first and second, um, well, excuse me, between the thumb and the second finger. We have that large intestine four hebu, a very important point we will talk about in detail on the course. We follow, remember that outline, that outer extremity of um, the uh, radius bone. We come to the outer edge of the crease. Okay, so we were following the pathway of the thumb for the lung on the inside. The large intestine is more to the fold of the crease of the elbow. We then come up, we've got those strong points along uh, the ridge of the acromion clavicular joint. We come up, we've got that little interchange along the neck, the sternocleidomastoid. And then on some areas you'll see it completes to the um, nasolabial groove on the same side and other diagrams you might find it crosses along to the other side okay and this it's a uh, yang channel so we start at large intestine one and we end at large intestine 20. so for you as a yoga teacher as a yin teacher what does this mean it means that we channel energy into those pathways of both the yang and the yin of the mental element when we are doing poses for example like thread the needle okay when we are doing um melting heart okay happy puppy um even if we are lying in supine positions um broken wind pose for example any of your twists where the arms are extended out it's okay that pathway when we're activating when we're aware of either the line of the index finger or the pathway of the thumb up towards the body, we can have an imprint into the movement. Okay, we can work with the awareness uh, and find that balance between the, the mind going where the chi goes or the chi going where the mind goes. I hope that helps and it's a good recap and useful.